totally random, I've decided to do cheese on toast in the Ninja. I'm going to cheat slightly by putting the toast into the toaster. We all know what that looks like. So, stuck the Ninja, roast, 220 degrees, 25 minutes. It won't need 25 minutes. I'll try with it switched on, because that'll be better. Okay, so just hit that up. I reckon five minutes, maybe 10, I'll have some gorgeous melted cheese on that. So while that's warming up, I'll get the bread in the toaster. Lovely, golden brown, texture like sun. There we go, nice bit of uh, sliced up cheddar. You can, of course, be really flash and great at first, but I'm not going to. There we go, so my sliced up cheese with a bit of salt and a bit of pepper cracked onto it, so that improves it. I have to say, normally I'll put slices of tomato on there. I like the cheese and tomato, but lo and behold, there's no cheese and tomato in the house. Well, there is cheese and tomato, there's just no tomato. I'm going to put a bit more cheese on in lieu of the tomato. So here we go, let's transport that across. So now saying add food. So let's lift up, We've got the normal tray in there. Chuck it in and see how long it takes. There we go, five of my English minutes. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that, bubbling away. Now that is perfectly good. Carefully without burning my fingers. Perfectly good cheese on toast. Look at that, that is absolutely gorgeous. The lovely goldy brown color. I'm gonna be really, oh, look at this. Lynn Perrin's Worcester sauce proper stuff not the cheap stuff just going to be really degenerate and put some of that on one of them oh, it's all going to run off but what the hell mm. now question is how good it is and it's good so cheese on toast five minutes lovely crunch to the toast now and we're just mm, very soft golden Shut talking man and eat. 